So welcome, welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork. Today, we do have a couple of special guests. Um, I'm calling them the Sustainability Sisters. Hey everyone, Amy Musanti, Director of Sustainability here at Asa Abloy. Hi everybody, my name is Erin Spadabekia, Program Manager for Sustainability. Okay, uh, let's jump into the next one. Mm, okay, oh, wow. So the con's supposed to be part of the closer? And that's, that's one way to hold open the door, you know? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the notice above says this door to remain unlocked during normal business hours. And so perhaps the cone is there to make sure that everyone is very aware that the door is unlocked and open and will stay that way. And you're never going to hit your head. There was a special promotion going on. <laughs> Buy a closer, get a cone. I mean, you're, you're right, Amy. It definitely stands out. You're noticing that door is there. My guess is this is probably also an exit of some sort, seeing yeah. that it looks like a main entrance. So, hey, it's here for you to escape if someone comes right. in with- Is that it? Just the one hinge there? Uh, I, I believe it's got a top pivot it and does. a bottom. Okay. I was like, wow, that's also interesting. But yeah, also that would very be energy efficient. With the door just kept open the whole time. Exactly. There you go, Aaron. There you go. There you go. That's why I threw this one in there. Not, not very energy efficient to just leave that door wide open, right? No, but very welcoming. Maybe it was a, a balmy 72 inside and out. You know, Maybe. Yeah. Well, it's not like Florida or something and you're... You're letting crocodiles in and I guess crocodiles don't live in Florida. Sorry, alligators, gators, letting gators in with a draft. I mean, it's good because the cone, I mean, sometimes you use things to prop the door and it gets in the way, but here the cone is up high. So there's no trip or, you know, there's no hazard on the floor, at least nothing's getting your way of getting in and out. So that's helpful too. That's true. That, that is a, that is a bright spot um, to look at. <laughs> at least it's not a, like one of those floor stops that you always trip over or someone kicks out or exactly. this, you know. it's in a concrete block of any sort. So, you know, the, the sustainability people, we, we, you'll notice we're very positive, right? We're looking for the, the good in the situation. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the ventilation <laughs> and this could be considered a hands-free opening as well so it's not that going for it looking on the bright side knowing me i probably would hit my head on that cone so uh i'm sure right. it's nice cushioned and rubber and like i'll bounce right off i'm sure yeah, see this one's not too bad i i I've, I've not seen this before, but not horrible. Yeah. So if you were to give this a knocking score, one through 10, what, what would you give it? I'll say four. I don't think it's like super bad compared to the last one. Yeah, I'll give it a, I'll give it a three. I, again, A for effort and creativity. Not, not awful. I'm going to go two. Maybe they turn the HVAC off. If they turn the HVAC off, there's nothing wrong with this opening. Again, there's a, a clear warning that you might hurt, hit your head. Uh, so I don't know. I think it's okay. Technically, you're not supposed to have anything overhanging in the opening under, I think it's six foot eight, six feet and eight inches. My guess is that's probably a little bit protruding into that zone. I always thought, yeah, it's six foot eight. And I always thought that was funny because like, what if you were a basketball player? Like you could hit your head on things if things are protruding. Like, I guess maybe you're just used to like ducking through doorways by yeah. then. <laughs> Oh yeah. I don't have that problem. Or or hitting it on a construction cone that's mounted upside <laughs> down in a door closer. Okay. Not not too knocking bad. All right. The final photo. Are you guys ready? Oh boy. Yes. I'm excited. I'm still confused about this one. <laughs> Love the sign. Not through this door, but there. Well, so I have a, I have a little jingle whenever I find door hardware that you have to explain the best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. That, that had like a Willy Wonka vibe to it almost. Yeah, right. <laughs> totally. Less, less creepy though. So that's good. I'm going to take that sound clip and that's now going to be the intro sound clip yes. for every door hardware. Yes. <laughs> This one is very special. So Amy, you actually submitted this photo. So I'm glad we got to highlight it. Can you enlighten us a little bit? Or do you know, other than you just walked by and you took this picture or you saw, explain a little bit. I was on a, I was on a campus in California for a sustainability expo. And naturally I'm wandering around looking at doors because that's what we do in our free time. I walked past this and I had a chuckle. And then I said, you know what? I have to stop and take a picture of this ridiculousness because... Yeah. 
and you know, I've had this picture since 2019 and I'm really glad that today is the day I finally get to do something with it. And I'm glad that other people appreciate the same nonsense because it's someone took a lot of time to say, you know what, this I need to go and make a sign that explains this. And I need to paint these hinges the same color as the door. <laughs> which I think is lovely. Sandy Matheny would maybe be interested to see this, this photo as well from a decorative perspective. Yeah, <laughs> that's powder just coat red hinges. I sure hope so, but it doesn't look like it. There's, they're not powder coat. We all know it. I'd like yeah. to see some levers on there or a, or a pull instead of those knobs there. Yeah, yeah. On a campus, especially, they, they should be more um, accessible friendly. Yeah. I think it's interesting that the whatever it is, 1950E is yes. painted, seems like the same color as the wall because they like really want that to blend in and they really want you to go for the red door. Yes. Do not look over here. Focus on the red door. Yeah, this is just a bad example because you're not supposed to have to figure out where to go. It should be just so obvious. So uh, even with the sign, it's still pointing to the other door. So it's still not even obvious. Yeah, Yeah, like my first instinct was, oh, use this door right here, right? Like, (laughs) yeah, the right way. Yes. Not, not this hidden red wall right here. Yes, not through this door, but there. And there are other probably more interesting or clearer ways of saying that, but I enjoyed it but very much. Whoever, because this looks like it's almost like a plaque. Like they had to go yeah. somewhere. To oh yeah, this. it was mounted. It's like custom. the person making the sign was like, are you sure you want to like th- write this all out this way? Yeah. Maybe they were paid by the, the letter. So they, they were able to add on extra, you know. That's right. Yes. We saved some space by writing through T-H-R-U instead of regular way. So yes, a nice long arrow. From from a sustainability standpoint, though, it looks like they've got some decent like weather stripping and gasketing. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, that the one on the left hand side is is very well sealed. We would recommend continuous hinges, obviously, for an exterior opening for both. But yeah, I think, you know, they're they're definitely doing something right here. Even if even if you're confused, you at least have some sustainability attributes going for you. Yeah, I actually didn't know that was a thing, but it makes sense. Continuous hinges would be more energy efficient than regular butt hinges, right? Exactly. See, we've learned something today. Learn something new every day. (laughs) Okay, knocking score. What do you ladies think? I'll give it a two. It's not that bad. Yeah, I think I'll go with two also. I think it's, um, I find it almost endearing. Good use of color. (laughs) Yeah, it's low. One or two. It's very entertaining. And they maybe need a more colorway to extend the red along along a path to lead people. Wayfinding. Yeah. Wayfinding. Wayfinding. Right. Yes. And school colors too, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not not too knocking bad. Can't can't really fault this as far as we know. Like there's no major code violations or anything like that. Might be a a, a deco violation, you know. Like Sandy Matheny might like have something to say about this. Uh, might have given a, a harsher score. Other than that, like the knobs aren't ADA compliant. Not knocking bad though. Just funny. Yeah. Thanks for using my picture as the grand finale today. That's a that's a, quite an honor. Yeah, what a way to finish. I, I mean, I was genuinely curious of like what is going on here because yeah. you know the the best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain so <laughs> we don't often get the opportunity to get an explanation on the show and often we want and need one right <laughs> yes <laughs> Well, it's always funny when you get caught checking things out at a building. Like once I was in a post office and I was looking around and then like this lady gave me these weird looks, like I'm like trying to, you know, break into the mail room. So I was like, okay, I guess I need to stop doing this right now. <laughs> Pick your building um, wisely. Right. We're not, we're not trying to do anything. We're, it's not criminal mischief. We're just curious. Airports. Airports are notoriously known for a lot of door hardware fails. Actually, at a, a, a local airport, a lo- local international airport, uh, they have a coded lock that the passcode is still the programming code. So pretty easy. If you know the lock, you know the programming yeah. code. Yep. Okay. So uh, thank you. Thank you, Aaron and Amy, for uh, joining us for this uh, special episode of Unhinged. Um, Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, Join us for the next episode of Unhinged. Our doors are always open because they're unhinged. (laughs) 
If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, please leave a comment down below. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date when new videos are released. Thanks for watching.